What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is so good to see you guys again. I have spent the last eight hours, I'd say every bit, six to eight hours rebuilding this truck from the top to bottom. And we just got done running it in the mud. It's a little dirty. Oh yeah, it's a little dirty. Y'all ready for it? Let's get into it. Are right, y'all, you guys ready? I put the lock ups on there. Tell you what, the truck is significantly heavier. Definitely heavier. Look how low it sits now. But that's also because I have these tires on it. But what do you guys think? If you guys like these tires, make sure to leave a like. If you dislike these tires, well, leave a like. Looks good. Looks real good. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So I have decided to put this thing back together. I'm tired of waiting for these parts to come in. <laughs> I mean, they're talking about like another 20 days before some of them arrive. So I'm just like, you know what, forget it. Let's assemble it perfectly fit. I didn't have a single issue installing any of this stuff. None of it. All of this stuff fit together real well. If you are having issues putting this plate on, all you need to do is just very gently kind of pull on the shock tower and then that plate will just slide perfectly in. Just a little pull. You mean we're, we're talking small. Our shocks look incredible. I like the way the shocks look. The Intigy gearbox looks good. And then down here we have our hot racing hubs. They look good too. So the whole front end looks good. We're looking at new shock towers. I'm also thinking about doing a video um, doing stock versus upgraded. So what I would like to do is buy an Intigy shock tower and then take this shock tower and compare it to the Intigy one. Meaning like, let's hit it with a hammer, let's try to bend it, let's abuse it, let's see which ones are stronger. Because a lot of the Intigy parts, like a lot of these parts that you'll buy, they are milled out. A machine mills them out of a solid piece. Well, I was looking at these, most of the parts and even our shock towers, all the shock towers on these are stamped metal, meaning that they take a piece of metal, they slide it in there or a piece of aluminum, and then like a hundred pound press comes down and and presses out this shape. This is pressed metal or pressed aluminum, meaning that they did not mill this out of a single piece of aluminum. So I'm thinking that this is not going to be as strong as the Intigy or even the hot racing aluminum shock tires because those were milled out of a solid piece of aluminum. So what do you think is stronger? Milled aluminum or stamped aluminum? In a previous video I mentioned that this back rear brace is just a tad bit too tight. So what I've done is I've taken a file and I very gently have filed it down. Now with a little bit of filing, 
Check it out. Look. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Is it normal to have this much play in it? The cap, this part, as you can see, it's fully seated around that bearing. On both sides, it is fully seated. But for some odd reason, look at that play. It, I, I can't remember, is that normal? Look how much that, that can't be right, dude. I'm doing, look at that. Really? No, something's wrong. I must have one of these brackets on backwards or something because that, that just can't be normal. That's all the way tightened. There's no way your center diff can move like that. And if it can, oh my God. What do you guys think, man? Comment below if you have a suggestion. All right, guys, we are 90% done. Now, <coughs> what we are still waiting on, we are still waiting on for this to come in, that alum the aluminum steering stuff and the aluminum top bracket. And then we have the new motor mount and all of this. So like right now, I have two out of the four pieces needed, but um, we have to get the aluminum risers that go down in here that hold on. That's what. That's why this one doesn't have them. You have to buy them. And then we gotta get the motor mount that is selected to fit this. And basically I was reading that it lowers it. That's why it didn't line up because it actually brings the whole center diff lower I like that uh, this this whole wing bracket here this whole part right here I found it uh, for about 60 bucks on eBay um, I found it in black so I went ahead and ordered that that will be on the way um, and then what this actual brace ties into this plastic piece right there that is also on the way um, but unfortunately it arrived red so I reordered one blue and then these plastic spacers that go here I also ordered those in aluminum there it is I am done we are 100% put back together and might I say I think the truck looks phenomenal what do you guys think I think we did an excellent job. Everything looks good, ready to roll. We're gonna put the tires on, put the body. We already got the lights and everything hooked up. So, here, I'll go ahead and show you all that real quick. All right, she's ready to blast. Thank you.